In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the relevant topics that need to be covered in acceptance criteria defined for any user story in Agile project. Now, during each iteration, developers create code which implements the functions and features described in user stories. Now, these user stories code is verified and validated via acceptance testing. Now, acceptance testing is done to validate whether the code that is being developed by developer, whether it meets the requirements or not. And to be or to, to be able to do acceptance testing, the story should be testable. And how the story will be testable when there is an acceptance criteria which defines, which basically says what need to be tested or what that functionality should look like in terms of functional or non-functional behavior. Now let's see what these topics are that need to be defined in the acceptance criteria of any story. So the first thing is that the functional behavior should be mentioned in the acceptance criteria. What this means is what exactly does the system do? So for example, if you're working on an e-commerce project, what functionality are you looking for? So one functionality could be add item in the cart, remove item in the cart, right? So there could be many user stories defined. So what functionality you are looking for as part of that particular story? So there could be just one story just to uh, and uh, define the functionality of adding and removing the item from the cart, right? So that is the functional behavior of adding or removing item in the cart. So that should be defined in the acceptance criteria. What exactly you want your system to do? Or uh, if you are uh, working in any other, uh, say for example, a banking project and you're working on some internet banking application, then what functionality you want in your that in internet banking application should the user be allowed to change his address uh, should he be allowed to fund transfer within his accounts or external accounts so all these functionalities should be defined in the acceptance criteria or the story that is being worked upon now functional behavior should be defined the next thing that should be defined is the quality characteristics how the system performs the specified behavior. Now, the characteristics may be um, quality attributes or non-functional attribute, attributes like uh, the performance or reliability or usability. For example, uh, if you are launching an application, how much time it takes to load. Uh, you should clearly define that time, how much time or what is the response time you're looking for in the acceptance criteria as well. So quality characteristics need to be defined, the reliability, usability, response time, uh, how many concurrent user it should support. All these things should be defined in the acceptance criteria of the user story. The next thing is scenarios or the use cases. So how the end user is going to interact with the application or the sequence of actions performed by the end user to accomplish the desired output. So this has to be defined in different scenarios. So any user story that you could have multiple scenarios defined which will be in terms of end user interacting with that particular application and what he should be, uh, what he is expecting as the desired outcome. So that those scenarios should be mentioned in the user stories as well. Um, the next thing is the business rules. So what internal system rules perform based on the external inputs, right? So for example, uh, you, you are providing certain inputs from the UI, then after submission, what rules are happening in the background? and then what response is presented to the user all these business rules need to be defined in the user story as well and these business rules are very important because end user 
is not aware of all the business rules that are happening so for example uh, your credit decisioning or when you are applying for any loan or credit card um, there is a l background process that happens when you submit an application with all your detail and income so that, that credit decisioning there are engines there are rules and all these business rules are defined in the background and once you submit the application all these rules are triggered automatically and you are presented with the outcome whether your application has been approved or declined so these business rules or the background business rule based on the input provided these business rules should be also clearly defined in the acceptance criteria um, the next thing is the um, external interfaces so any connection details to integrate the developed system to external interfaces so for example you are developing an application but does this application uh, need to uh, integrate with other application or do you need to expose any of the api's so that other systems can integrate with your system right so for example uh, nowadays a lot of applications are there uh, even um, all the cloud-based services you can uh, they, they provide a lot of api's that you can consume and you can integrate with those applications easily so those sort of details need to be provided clearly in the acceptance criteria as well any external interfacing requirement need to be provided in the acceptance criteria as well um, the next thing is any of the constraints so any timeline or technology limitations say for example you are using certain technology which has certain limitations and the, uh, the technology that you are using cannot be um, is not compatible with certain platform or certain um, uh, certain other application those con constraints need to be mentioned in the acceptance criteria as well also if there are any timeline constraints um, those need to be mentioned in the acceptance criteria as well uh, the next thing is uh, the data definition so you should be defining the uh, format and the data type and the values that are allowed in that particular format so for example you, what values are allowed in the uis so uh, do you allow integers in particular uh, uh, field or you just allow the uh, free text so all these data format uh, the type allowed and uh, what are the values allowed and what are uh, valid and invalid inputs etc need to be defined clearly in the acceptance criteria say for example you are submitting an application um, whether first name and last name should allow special characters or not all these definition need to be defined in the acceptance criteria uh, when you are defining the user story uh, similarly if you have a date field what format uh, should the end user provide the date in or if there are any um, interfacing requirement what uh, format should uh, be provided in the date or in the first name last name etc so these data definition format type etc should be clearly defined in the uh, acceptance ac acceptance criteria as well uh, then there is some other relevant information uh, for testers that helps tester to actually uh, test uh, the user story and ensure that the acceptance criteria has been met so the other information could be like how the system is supposed to work so if you can um, if there is a detail around uh, that how part of the system uh, or the how system how the system can be tested in a testing environment uh, that's another uh, helpful information so for example there is something really new and tester is not aware of what details are required but if you if um, the business analyst or other stakeholder or other team members are aware of that they can provide their input um, and that can be defined in the acceptance criteria or in the information other information uh, of the story which will help the tester to test in a particular test environment if there are any specific tools that could be used uh, or skills and knowledge that could be required to perform the testing so for example 
this particular story is really technical and it's just uh, uh, there is a lot of service based testing that needs to be done for this particular story before it can be integrated further then you can provide that uh, the skill that web service testing uh, skill is required uh, web autom web service automation skill is required to perform testing for this particular story so this these are some of the other information that is helpful for testers if it is defined in the acceptance criteria or other section of the user story so to summarize in this uh, tutorial we have understood what are some of the key information that needs to be provided in the acceptance criteria of the user story to help testers to perform acceptance testing of the user story in any of the agile project thank you